Hi everybody, I'm Rachel from Mrs. Rachel Brady. There is a fly flying around the room, so sorry if you just heard that. Um, if you're new around here, I'm a mum of two, Arthur is seven and Beatrix is nearly five. They're at school right now and I've just come back from Aldi. I wasn't going to do a big shop this week, but actually I thought mm, we, do, we do need a few bits. However, I'm away at the end of the week, so I kind of haven't got too much. And we've still got food in our cupboards and our gross and our freezer. So there's a lot of accidental, accidental, accidental kind of whoops buys in here, but I think they're really good actually. So I thought I'd share it with you. So let's have a look. So, um, yeah, I love these sunflowers from Aldi. They're only £3 and they seem to last for ages, so I've treated myself to those. Uh, a loaf for the freezer, some barbecue marshmallows, because every time we have a barbecue, the kids always ask, and I always think, oops, I'm not then. Uh, I needed some coffee, like, I haven't had a coffee today. You wouldn't know it, though. Um, so, yeah, I got some nice coffee. How nice is that packaging? Some, I went for the stronger one. I normally go for that mild one, but I went for the stronger one. Parmesan, we just needed some for the fridge. Uh, so over here I've got some cheddar as well, we needed that. My cheese box in the fridge is totally empty. Um, butter, we also have butter not marge. I always go for salted. I'm just a bit of a salt fiend. Um, and hummus, that's just for my lunches. I treat myself to like a kind of garlic roulet uh, type thing for like a little snack and crackers. So salmon, that's really good for my lunches. However, my daughter also absolutely loves it for breakfast sometimes with scrambled eggs. Eggs, yeah, we just see loads of eggs. Um, I'm going to call these shells because I've never been able to actually say that. Contigli. Contigli? Contigli. Contigli. Eggs? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to make broccoli pasta, which is a bit of a classic in our house uh, tomorrow night. We have some really nice pasta, uh, broccoli and pasta cooked at the same time. And then some anchovies, maybe some capers, lots of ones and stuff like that. I think with the pasta shells kind of holds the pasta with the broccoli which goes really soft and really well. I'm going to have to pop these in the freezer in a minute because uh, they may be melting already. I've gone for these mega treat uh, little mini fake magnums. Um, I've gone for the different variety, I see what the kids think of those. White chocolate marshmallow sauce. Uh, giant custard. I, that was just one of those random Aldi things where you think, oh, I'm going to try that. I might do that in a big salad for Friday. My friend is coming to say, and I'm going to do a chicken and barbecue, drink it up, and do something like that. Well, when I say we, I might do a chicken, and uh, Adam will be doing the chicken and barbecue. Bubble, yeah, that's that. Uh, this antipasto collection from Aldi is really nice. I really like the kind of fennel flavoured salami. It's really good. I'm going to do a puff pastry pizza for my rest of the video on Wednesday. And that's going to feature in that. And I've got the mozzarella for it. So I'm going to have to go to the shop and get that uh, on Wednesday. Or Tuesday. Uh, some mushrooms. They're really good for breakfast. I didn't buy organic kind of for any reason. Other than I just grabbed them. And they don't do many organic things at Aldi. They do do mushrooms again, which is good. I suppose it's good because you don't wash mushrooms or anything, do you? You just kind of dust them off. But it's good that they're organic. Um, Melon, my son is a melon fiend, we're going to have that as an after school snack today I think. Some apples for the fruit bowl, some apricots, they're really good um, as a snack. I know they've kind of got a lot of natural sugars in but uh, my kids do like those, they almost think they're sweet, so it's like and sweet, right? Avocado for my lunch and for avocado on toast. I'll go up here. I've got these treats because at night I do like to sit down with a decaf um, tea. I know how to live, right? And uh, a little mini chocolate bar is really nice for that. And just like a little treat for the kids. Some nuts for kind of Friday night, movie night type thing, whatever. So we've got a few, I've already got crisps in here, so some nuts. I like ring pull tuna because you can kind of pull it and then push the thing down, the oil all comes out. Um, they didn't do a four pack in the ring pull thing, so I just got four on its own. Some treats for doggy dog. Uh, peach slices, they're really good as a kind of just a last minute um, in juice, not syrup, which is better. Uh, dessert for the kids with a bit of Greek yogurt on. Some other puree, I am going to use those that I think on the puff pastry pizza, which is really as much as a bit of extra bulk, virgin olive oil and some bright oregano. This, I don't normally buy things like this, but I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm being really healthy at the minute, uh, generally, apart from those. Um, so, you know, if you're just like frying an egg or whatever, or just frying something in the pan, you just want a little bit of oil. I do tend to just glug a lot of oil in, and it's not really necessary. And to me, we just use lots of those. They'll be good in the broccoli pasta this week, but also on kind of tarts or salads and all that. I love these flat peaches. We call them bomb peaches in our house. I'm not sure why. I think actually the normal peaches look like bomb peaches. Anyway, those flat peaches are the donut peaches they call them. So, they're really nice. The kids will just buy those. 
cucumber for the it's one of the types of salad that Arthur will actually eat. So be nice with the puff paste repeat for when I eat but for like my salad I just eat a lot of rocket at lunchtime with like just different things on it, like some salmon or avocado or chicken or whatever. Mm, I just went past this before, I didn't tell you about it. Yeah. So if they did this in free range, I would be prepared, be prepared to pay more for it. They don't, which is a shame. But uh, yeah, it's really good for just kind of chopping on salads or sandwiches. Um, kale, I am going to get back on the uh, smoothie train in the morning. And also, kale is really good with lemon, olive oil, salt and pepper. It wilts the kale down so you can eat it raw. Um, with some of the things on it, like maybe some feta or some pomegranate seeds or whatever. I've got loads of tomatoes here, they're for salads and also for, what else were they for? I think they're just for salads actually. Bananas for the fruit bowl, uh, berries, yeah, just really good with yogurt for, the, for a dessert for the kids. And now to the interesting stuff. <laughs> this is, you can't go to Aldi without picking up this stuff, right? I, well, I can't. So uh, I actually need a new swimsuit for B. Uh, this was quite cute. It's got kind of like a watermelon little mini skirt on it. Um, so uh, I'm going to give that a whirl. The thing is, on holiday, we were only going to England this year, I think. Uh, so with the shoulders are exposed and so on. But I've, she's got a little kind of surf top that she can chuck on top of that. I just thought it's cute for swimming lessons. The one that she's got is she's really grown out of it. Uh, Arthur, the same. His he's grown out of his swim shorts. I thought these were really cool with sharks on. He'll love those. Um, and they both need a new toothbrush, so that's that. And I thought these were really cool. They're little, um, this is BB-8. Oh, hey, hey, Myrtle. Uh, that's BB-8 from Star Wars. I can't, I can't really show you how it works. You basically twist the top, I think you do it one-handed, and like a little worm straw pops out, which is quite cool. Whee! So it is easier than it looks. I'm making it difficult because I'm doing it one-handed. So I've got her, the Minions one. And I've got him the Star Wars one. I've got a little workbook. We've got quite a few of these. I'm going to try and get better at doing workbook stuff with Artie in return for Xbox time. Because he's kind of going, He's we'll go along with that. He's like, when can I, when can I go on my uh, Xbox? I'm like, if you've done a page in a workbook. So they're really good. Um, I mean, this is going to be quite hard for him. So we probably will leave that for a while. We've got others that we can do. But I think they're quite a good price for Aldi compared to when you buy them from, you know, WH Smith or whatever. She has got a hat, but if, if we lose her one hat, then I'm a bit scuppered. So this is like a bit of an emergency hat. Again, the watermelon might look cute with the watermelon uh, swimsuit. Uh, school socks. Hi, Hugo. That's Hughie. And there's Henry. Hi, guys. Uh, school socks for B. We're always kind of rummaging around looking for a pair of school socks. So I got us some of those. These. How cool are these? They're flashing light trainers. Um, obviously totally bling, but like she'll really like the fact that, uh, the fact that they're so incredibly blingy. They were six ninety nine, and I really like these. Arthur's, um, they flash as well. I just hope, they're a bit Minecrafty, aren't they? With the kind of Minecraft aeroplane motif type thing. Um, I just hope that they fit. I've gone on the fact that she is actually a nine and a half. I think they look really big. So I've got her a nine and they are a 12, oh, sorry, they're a 13. He's like a 12 and a half at the minute. I don't know, we'll, we'll just see if they fit. I'll leave the labels and things on and if they don't fit, I'll try and swap them. So, that, did we do the granola? The granola is just something that I, I don't tend to eat it as a cereal. I tend to just kind of sprinkle it on top of yogurt with fruit and, um, and stuff as a bit of dessert. So that is kind of it, I think. I don't think I missed anything. Um, and it came to, I think it was like 99 something, which is a lot, but I've got two pairs of trainers, um, a workbook and toothbrush and shorts and swimsuits and sports bottles. So I think that's quite good value. You can't go to Aldi without buying those few extras, can you? Uh, so that's all for now guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up if you did, hit subscribe if you're not already for recipes, grocery hauls, cleaning videos, all that type of thing and general just chit chat stuff. Um, so yeah, that's all for now, bye!